the drive home show, everybody. It's 4 412 on that car clock, but I'm the my watch is 408, which is one minute away from she's real fine, my 409. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, 409 er You know what? Oh, it's not Friday. It's not Friday. It's Tuesday. That's the that's my thought process was, you know what, there's not playing any good songs anymore. Like when I start off the show, you know, I like to I like to pick a song to start off the show with, you know, to, to get you guys going and ready to hear the show. Hey, it's 409. She's real fine, my 409. Giddy up. Giddy up. Giddy up. 409. Nine. Niner. Niner. Um, but lately, the, the songs have been, like, crappy. Like, seriously? The 80 station is a culture club. Poo. We don't do culture club. And it wasn't, it's not even the, it's not even the, the more notable culture club song, like, do you really want to hurt me? It's like, time won't give me time, or some crap like that. Oh, got a way back, line up, back up. So turn left on the Tamarack. It's like almost all the way back to the other street there that, uh, I almost had to like, uh, you know stop in the intersection because it's so far back waiting to turn. So I'm getting a little for for glaberdeed of trying to pick a song. I, I gotta go to the 70 station, I gotta go to the 80 station, then I go to the Beatles station, and I you know go to the vinyl station, I go to the what is the other station? Channel 26 or and it's like nothing good. But anyway I remember this morning on the the Beatles station they were saying uh, it wasn't even the Beatles station, it was the 80 station. They were saying, St Steve Perry, is that the singer from Journey? Don't stop believing. He's gonna host, he's gonna host his like favorite Beatles songs from four, four 5 p.m. Eastern, which is 4 p.m. Central, but it's not till Friday, so I was like, "Oh, I'd like to hear that. Let's hear what uh, Steve Perry has to say about the Beatles song." But you know, um, it would be on. It would be on during the drive home show, but we wouldn't just like. We would just check in during the show. We would not like rebroadcast it or anything like that. I'm smelling heat. I'm smelling like I don't know car heat. Okay, so. I'm, you know that all the lights and bells and whistles have been going on in my car. It's like the check engine light, the VSA light, the TPMS and all that. Well, the check engine light has gone off. I'm smelling burnt. Um, I'm hoping it's like a car outside and not in my car. It's really um, pronounced. What is the word? It's really, really obvious. Maybe it's this truck. It's like burning, um, burning tar, or like a, like a. You see those trucks that heat up tar really hot. It's like that smell. There is a there's a dump truck up ahead of me. So maybe it's exhaust from that dump truck or something. I don't know, but it's concerning me to the point where I'm hoping there's nothing wrong with my car because of all these lights going on and stuff. Anyway, I, I was going to say something. That smell is really per, is pronounced. Uh, the pronounce is like speaking, right? You're pronouncing something, but it's really evident. We got to slow down up here. It says it's 47 degrees on our thermometer. Uh, I was thinking about running. I was actually can't waiting to run. I was like, I must run today. I'm a runner. I, that's what I do. I run. And um, with that, I was like, why? Why do I run? Why must I run? It's cold, but it is 47. And then there's another thing about running. Well, I don't think it's... Okay, here's the thing. I run in a sweat... 
beads beads up on my forehead and runs down my temples into my eyes and then it irritates my contact lenses and then like for the rest of the night I see little blurry spots because my contact lenses are irritated and then, then I take out my contact lenses and put in my glasses but then my eyes are still feeling irritated and so then I put um, drops in my eyes and my eyes sting so I think actually I think maybe there's a there's a tear in my left contact lens and those the sweat and all that just accentuates the irritants in such a way with which that me and all that but that's my theory yesterday I ran okay yesterday was a strange run okay I see a police car flashing with flashing lights or is he pulling someone over is he trying to come quickly down the street what's going on exactly I gotta keep my eye in the rear view mirror and see what's going on I don't you know I don't see cars moving over okay my run yesterday I'll, I'll let you know if anything happens with that you might have been pulling somebody over Oh, now I see, I see a car, I see the, the cop is coming, I gotta move over. You're supposed to pull over. These cars are driving in the slow lane, you're supposed to pull all the way over when a car comes, a cop car comes by. Stupid people. Just, so I'll just pull over in the slow lane and keep driving. Idiot, what if he needs to get in the slow lane? You're supposed to get out of the way. Anyway, that's what happened with the car flashing lights. I'm gonna follow him and see how far he, we can go. Um, he's not going all that much farther ahead of me, you know, like much more faster than me. Um, okay, now he moved over to the right lane. Yeah, we're just, well, I, I'll, I'll tune you in on the running as soon as this, this thing um, clears. Where did he go? Did he exit? No, he's in, he's still up ahead there. Oh, he, he flew up ahead really fast. Is that is that him or is that another car? No, another one came up behind me. Like an unmarked one. Something, some incident happened. I need to probably sh change my mirror so I can see if there's another one coming. You know, when you see that in your rear view mirror, your heart rate just skyrockets. Like you're, you're the one getting pulled over for a brief second. You just, I don't know why that is. Okay, did we actually turn on the Matamidi curb or are we still going north? Yeah, it says we're going north. I felt like we just turned. I felt like we just went around a curve. But it wasn't the Matamini Pine Springs curve. You see the cop car way up ahead there. All right, so let's let's talk about the run real quick here. Um, my whole objective here now. There's no. I'm not really trying to run a certain speed. I'm not. My intention is not. To, press myself and run a certain speed right now like my that's not my intention that's not my goal and my goal is just to run for exercise and I want to improve but I want to improve hey we're on the Pine Springs Mount of Midi curve right now guys everybody I don't see the cops anywhere they, they get off did they get off I'm looking I'm looking east I'm looking west I don't see them now so I don't know where they are uh, my my intention is to run relaxed, but I, I do want to improve my time. I do, but I want my relaxed run to improve. I don't want to like push myself and like that's you know my objective. But it ends up not being not turning out like that. I end up um, pushing myself. Now there's two ways it could go. One. You can get your update and you're like, oh crap, I'm not doing very good. I'm going to stop and walk. You know, I will I will start up again and I will run when I catch my breath. But, you know, I'm not doing very good today, so I'm just going to walk and run. Or you can be like...
like, oh, I'm doing better than I thought I was. I want to finish strong. I want to finish with a good time. And then, then you start speeding up and pushing yourself. What happened yesterday was, oh, I'm just going to run nice and easy. Hey, this feels really good. Um, I feel like I'm kind of going too fast, but it's comfortable, so I'm just going to keep going. Oh, hey, I'm running pretty fast here. Um, at the quarter mile, it was my um, my split time or whatever, my quarter mile time was 7.63 miles per hour. Then it drastically shot down. So between the quarter mile and the one mile, my speed went from 7.63 to 7.04. It just dropped sharply. But then I kind of recovered, settled in to a speed. And um, so like the first mile was 7.04, not time, it was miles per hour, 7.04. The second mile was 7.18. The third mile was 7.30. And then the last one-tenth of a mile, because I do 3.1 mile, the last tenth of a mile was 7.58. So I just kept, after I initially dropped down, then I just kept getting faster and faster. And I felt like I needed push just to keep going the same speed that I was going and I actually was pushing to go faster so that's what happened yesterday that was really weird um, it's not common that the finish is that much ahead of the start time it's not common at all as it's 427 we're coming to the highway 61 exit usually don't ever hardly never let you guys know that this part of, or the, of the road. And oh, by the way, uh, I, they finally started playing some of the new songs that I put on my playlist, on my Spotify playlist. Remember, I added about a dozen songs. I added Eddie Money songs, Toto songs, Cliff Richard songs, some some of the 45 records that I couldn't find before, like Sheena Easton Machinery. Frankie and a Knockout, Sweetheart, uh, Heaven on the Seventh Floor, but I only could I only could find the karaoke version, but I added that. So yeah, those songs, like they I, they did, they played the first song on the playlist. I mean, on my when I started up, first song was Eddie Money songs because I kind of thought, well, maybe I need to exit out of my Spotify on my computer for it to like save, and then you know, then you could start playing it. But before I even got to the computer to exit out of Spotify, it was playing any money song. Give me, give me some water. No, I'm not. I'm not asking for water. I'm saying that's the name of the song. That's the name of the song. But I could take some water. I need to drink more water. I need to consciously make myself drink more water because I'm usually not thirsty. I'm usually not thirsty. So I just drank some water. Just. Because I heard on the radio last weekend that you need to drink a lot and a lot and a lot of water to flush your flush your toxins out of your body and whatnot. And I I know I don't drink a lot of water at all, so I need to make myself drink water. Okay, so what was I saying? Then they played um, they played a Cliff Richard. Um, the one I add, the one I wanted to add is. You're just a little in love. You are a little in love. Oh yeah, a little in love with someone you just like me. You like me, you're in love. But it was um, it's so funny why we don't talk anymore. I don't know. I was way off key on that, kind of semi-intentionally, but that one I don't really kind of wholly really all like all that much. But I wanted to, you know, I needed songs to think of to add to my playlist that's the one they played they played um 5705 by city kid or something like that kids in the city city I don't know. it was an okay song michael j fox looks the singer looks like michael j fox or that was their one hit um and then uh, there was another one i think they played but i can't think of it so I'm hoping they're going to be playing some more on today's run. Five, seven, oh, five. It's 4.31 on the car clock. We're coming up to 
our freeway time to 35w sign yesterday we did it in three minutes remember the sign said four minutes but we did it in three that was rare a rarity but let's hope we can do it again we've done it before we did it before, we could do it again. I'm Joe Garciola. I'm Joe Garciola with Dodge. Dodge cars and trucks. And if you're not careful, you could you could walk away with a car or something. I don't know. I'm trying to work on my Joe Garciola impression. All right, so here's the sign. I cannot read it. It's too far away. Looks like a single digit number. That would be nice. Looks like a four, maybe. Getting closer. It's kind of blurry. Is that a six? Is that an eight? Is that a, it's a six. Wow. And the other one is 15. Okay, we gotta make sure to look at both numbers. Six and 15. Six is not good. I don't know if 15 is good or not. We haven't seen it enough times. But, so that would bring us to 438. That would be bring us to 438 because it's 432 right now. Um, we'll see. We'll see how long it takes us, but I'm not happy about a six. <clears throat> Coming up to Lexington, we have not slowed down yet. Here comes the slowdown. Slowdown is well before Snelling. This might be one that you would take Highway 10 on. I'm thinking this would be a Highway 10 type of day. Because we're dead, well we're not dead stopped, we're crawling at one, one miles an hour. I could walk faster than this. But we'll stick with it, we'll, we'll tough it out. I think we might get off on like Long Lake Road or something, we'll judge the traffic. See now that Acura is, see, now he's going in the right lane because he thinks that one's going to go faster, but it never ever goes that way. Um, we're gonna prove him wrong again. I'm gonna look for that silver Acura SUV sub that we shall pass. And I'm, I know I'm ahead of, I'm behind a FedEx truck, so maybe, he plans to move back over to the left lane and just once he gets ahead of this truck that's a good that's a good option but if he stays in the right lane if he gets stuck and he can't move back over he, I'm gonna be passing him now it's 434 we're two minutes in there we got four minutes left we got four minutes left to try to get over to um, 35w we'll keep it right here with you guys we won't cut to a commercial break it's so funny why we don't talk anymore. I felt really good after I finished running. Um, and I, I wanted to run again. I felt the urge to run. I felt the the um, just desire to go running again. So I wanted to go run, but then when I saw like it's cold and stuff, and I thought, oh, do I do I really want to run? If I had that long sleeve, um, yesterday I wore the the long sleeve running shirt from from the Maple Grove 10K, the gray one, um, and I think I wore it. Did I wear a t-shirt with it? I know where that one is. I could wear that again, or I could wear the, the warmer one. Angie, baby. Helen Reddy, Angie Baby. Is, is Helen is Helen Reddy from Australia? And I don't know. Isn't it funny how um, people with British accents and Australian accents? And we all sing in the same accent. Isn't that funny? Okay, it's 436 now. Now it's getting a little serious. Now we we only have two minutes to make it to 35W. And we're still quite a ways away. We have not passed the merging point where all these cars merge in. Since that's where it's, everything kind of slows down in the right lane. Um, you know, I want to make the six minutes. If it's going to say six minutes, I want to make that. You know, I don't want to be eight and ten minutes when it says six. You know, it's bad enough that it's six. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Okay, work. 
across in the merge part. I don't see that uh, Acura's sub, so it probably cut back into this lane once it passed this FedEx truck. I'm looking around the bend to see if I see it. I don't see it. I know it's not that far up ahead. In the right lane. So when British people sing, you don't hear their accents. Although they do sing with accents, like, here's an example. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. Now, we don't sing that. We don't, Americans don't sing like that, but we don't really hear the accent. Okay, I'm cutting back into the right lane. 438, we should be there, but we're not. And I don't know if we can make it before it changes to 439. But you hear somebody sing, right? And then you hear them talk. And uh, it's like, oh, they're from England? I didn't know that. I was, the reason I paused, okay, we're coming up to 35W or very close but oh we slowed down oh we it's just changed to 439 we're not gonna make it we didn't make it but um the reason I stopped and paused is because I re recalled an, an incident time when we were in, in Indiana and the, Michael W Smith was doing a concert there and um, I I said oh he's from Australia but he's not and uh, Clark was like mm, I don't think so I think, I think he was born in North Carolina or something like that, I don't know. And then I looked up and sure enough he was right and then he um, was even like a, a ball boy. Or his father was a ball boy or I don't know. He was very, very, very American. But I thought I remember him hearing him have an Australian accent when he talked. Okay, this looks very slow here. Um, I think I'm gonna get off on Long Lake Road. We crossed over 94 like 30 seconds ago. My clock says 440. We already knew that we didn't make it, so. Mrs. Brown, you've got a lovely daughter. So 15 minutes was on the bottom row. That was bottom time that was the time to 252 so that'd be like nine more minutes after this so I don't think that sounds very good to me I'm going to get off here along Lake road um, I don't have to go to the store I've got dinner for tonight but Jerry texted and he wanted magic shell so let's stop by the, the new Brighton Cub see if I can locate it in that store. I know where it is in the Fridley Cup, but I won't be going by the Fridley Cup. I will be going by the new Brighton Cup. Oh, my phone just fell. Oh. I kind of accelerated kind of fast. I, I don't have it mounted on the on the, winch, the windshield mount. I just have it mounted in the um, event mounts thingy. I'm trying to put it back now. It sounded like it was a harsh, a harsh hit. I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. There was a car coming down the road here when I was exiting the freeway, and I was like, I felt like I had to hurry up and get accelerate rapidly and get out of his way but he wasn't coming as fast as I thought he was coming he wasn't coming hot so didn't really need to accelerate all that much but I did and that caused the phone ouch that caused the phone to fall I'm glad it didn't crack my screen or anything like that kind of hit the dash area Mrs. Brown you've got a lovely daughter I think that's Herman Herman's Hermits. We got some lovely fall colors here. I think we missed we passed our peak though. I think we have. 
think it's like the little bushes and things that make the red, the cute, cute, the cool red, bright reds, and um, that kind of make it look really nice. I think the trees are pretty much, they do like the browns and the oranges and <coughs> those colors. Okay, we're here turning on Rice Creek. Okay, now that we don't have any, our TPMS light went off and the uh, low, you know, low tire light did not come on. So I don't even know what to think anymore. Could you have low, low tires and the light not on? I don't think so. So what does that mean when it does come on? Does it mean, I don't know. I don't even know. All right, we're almost to the, the Cub, the new Brighton Cub. Lost dog. 763-516-5211. If you've seen this lost dog, please call that number. No crank calls, please. This is serious. We lost our dog. We don't want no crank calls. Today is the first game of the World Series. It is the Red, Red Sox against the Dodgers. Now in 78 or 77 or 76, whatever, I would have wanted the Red Sox to win. Because the Red Sox have Carl Yuskrumpski, Freddie Lynn, Jimmy Rice, Rick Burleson. Uh, they had Rico Petroselli, but I, don't, I think he was gone by by then. I don't know who played third then. Oh, uh, Bernie, uh, Butch, Butch, that says Bernie Carver, Butch Hobson. I have to see who played for the, on the 76 World Series, or the 75 World Series against the Red. Then there's Dwight Evans. Um, I know Kari Skrumpski used to be left field, but then as he got older, he was playing first base. But anyway, in that store, I'm going to tell you something real quick. I'm going to try to pause it. If it pauses and I can come back, I will resume. But if it doesn't, if it just stopped and ended, I probably won't start a new one. So I want to tell you this little quick little story right here, right now. Um, I'm watching videos on YouTuber today, right? And so I come across this. It was actually a Phillies versus the Mets game. and But it says something about Pete Rose's 44 game hitting streak, blah, blah, blah. So some, somehow when I read it, I transcribed it to be the Mets versus the Reds. And, oh, that, I'd like to watch the whole game. I, that'd be cool. So I, I was going to watch that in 1978. So I did watch it. But it was the Phillies and the Mets. And then they would cut over to the Reds and the Braves whenever Pete Rose came up. And it was ABC Monday Night Baseball with Howard Cosell and Don Drysdale and Keith Jackson... And when they read the lineups, it was batting first, it'll be uh, Gary Maddox. Is it Gary Maddox? It'll be Gary Maddox, who's batting 273 with 13 home runs and 76 RBI. Batting second, it'll be Larry Boy, who's with 12 homers and 16. Like, really? Just say the guy's name. Anyway, um. The point that I brought this up about is they mentioned, because there's two things. One. Howard Cosell was talking about recent records being broken, and he, and he said, whatever, whatever, and then he goes, one record that'll never be broken is Lou Gehrig's 2,161 consecutive games played. And we, we all chuckled, all of us watching on the interweb, we all chuckled because we know that Cal Ripken Jr. beat that record. So there. The other thing was, and I commented this on the video, I, you know, the Richie Hebner came up and they had like a modified shift for this. You know, the shortstop kind of was over on the second base side of second base, the uh, right field side of second base. And um, the shortstop was pulled, I mean, the third baseman was pulled over towards playing short. You know, that's like a modified shift is not what they do today. But they said the Reds did this to Rich Hebner yesterday and he pers yeah, I don't think it was Howard Cosell talking, but he's, he proceeded to hit three bunt singles 
and he was five for five, his first five hit game of his career. And um, I commented, that's what that's what today's players need to do with this shift. But they can't do it because they can't bunt. They're inept bunters. All right, so I'm gonna go in, see if I can resume when I come back.